Okay, so for this section, we're going to be focusing on four main formatting groups. And these groups can be located in the Home tab. And we have Font, Alignment, Number, and Styles. All these groups are related to cell formatting. Cell formatting is the key to making a visually pleasing Excel spreadsheet. And not only does it make it look nice, but it helps draw users' attention to what's important, what the data actually means, and it's easier to read. Because right now, if we look at our report, everything's just black and white, and at first glance, it's hard to read the data because everything is so condensed together. And we can create some separation with this data by applying cell formatting. So for the remainder of this section, we're going to focus on making this report look all clean, organized, and easy to read. And I suggest following along so you can get the hang of it. You don't have to do exactly what I do. If you want to use a different color or a different font, go right ahead. But this is a great time to start practicing some Excel formatting. So let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to do is focus on the title in cell A1. So we're going to click inside the cell. And I think a nice big bold title would look nice. So when users come and open this report, they can look right at the title and know exactly what this report means. So to make this text bold, we're going to come up to the Home tab. And underneath the font group, we're going to click this B for bold. Now our text is bold. Still kind of small, so let's increase the font size a little bit. Currently, we're at 11. We can click this A to go up, or we can choose from the drop-down list and choose what font we want. I think 18 looks nice. Now the font's a little bit too big for the row height, so I'm going to move my cursor between row 1 and 2, give it a double click, so it can automatically adjust to the correct row height. Now let's take a look at our headings. Currently, they're kind of blended in with the rest of our data. And a good option to apply to column headings is a fill color. So to change the background color of these cells, we're going to go back to the font group and click on this paint bucket. And by default, the paint bucket is yellow. But if we click this drop down arrow, we can select the color we want. I think a nice blue color would look good. So I'm going to click the blue accent one. But now the black text kind of blends in with the blue. So let's change the text. So right next to the paint bucket, there's this A with the color underneath it. By default, it's red. So to change, we're going to click the drop down arrow once again. And I think white text will look good with blue. And to really make these column headings stand out a little bit more, let's make them bold. And we already know that we can press B up here in the font group. Or we can use a shortcut key on our keyboard, which is Control B as in boy, or Command if you're on Mac. Now our column headings really pop. Now we can easily tell which column means what. Same thing goes for the row labels. Let's apply some formatting to separate them from the rest of the data. So let's select our labels. And this time for the fill color, let's choose a light gray. I think that looks good. And lastly, our totals are one of the most important values within this report. So we definitely need to apply some cell formatting for these totals to stick out because right now they're a little bit blended in with the rest of the data. And we want users to easily be able to read the totals for each expense. So let's select our totals. And to make multiple selections, you need to press Control on your keyboard or Command if you're on Mac, hold it down, and make your other selection. So now we have the total column and the total row selected. We're going to come back up to our font group and let's select this little light yellow and make these totals bold. Now we're getting somewhere because we're starting to see the separation between the data. We can easily read our column headings, our row labels, our totals, and the users know where to enter the cost of each expense. And one last thing, our column headings look a little bit crammed right now. So I'm going to move my cursor between rows 3 and 4 and increase the row height a little bit. I think that looks good. And then I'm also going to select the columns to increase the column width a little bit. All right, I think that looks good. And with applying just a little bit of cell formatting, our report is looking a lot more organized and easier to read. And this is just the beginning. In the next few videos, we will discuss even more formatting options to make this report more pleasing to the eye.